Hello, I'm teacher Susie and welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing in my teaching reading series with four more basic sounds. This series is my highly simplified approach to begin adding structured reading instruction to your ESL lessons. For younger learners, taking English one to three times a week. These ideas are greatly simplified, but aim to introduce the rules to reading in English so that students can stop memorizing words and start applying reading skills to support success in all areas of English language development. Let's get started with lesson three. In lesson three, you'll need these sound cards prepared ahead of time. I, b, k. Students will need a piece of paper and some scissors to create their own sound cards, storing them in their envelope in the beginning of their notebook. They'll need their notebook and a pencil. Here are some target words you can use for the dictation part of the lesson. And finally, we'll add these new sounds to the sound wall in the classroom, if possible. Before introducing the new sounds, old sounds can be reviewed. A, ah, m, t, d, a, Moving on with step one, introduction of our new sounds. I, we'll move our finger like this for inchworm. I, I. Students can also skywrite the sound. I, B, B. When you feel students are ready, move on to step two. Make sound cards. Students should write the sounds on their paper, cut them out, and put them in their envelope after class. In step three, we'll practice writing the sounds. Let's label our lesson. Lesson three. First sound, b, b. B, b, b. Have students say the sound as they write it. And finally, eh. Eh. When you're ready, move on to step four. Make and write words using the sound cards. There are more options for the words than the ones I'm going to list here. You can also use nonsense words. I've tried to have each word 
change with just one sound at a time. For example, the first word, fib. Students should find the sounds, fib, and make the word. Then, write the word saying the sounds, fib. Rib, rib. Think about which sound changes. Rib. And write the word. Er, I, b. Rob, rob. Er, a, b. Rob. Er, a, b. Rob. Sob. Sob. A, b. Sob. Cob, 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 cab, cab, cab. Cab. Cat. 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 I've lined the words up so students are just listening for one sound that changes as we move along. Bat. Bat. Bat, b, a, t, bat, bat, rat, rat, er, a, t, rat. Rot, rot, er, ot, rot, pot, pot, ot, pot. Hot. Pit. Pit. P it. Pit. It. Hit. Bit. Bit. B. I. T. Bit. Mit. M. I. Mit. Mit. Students can refer to this page to practice reading 
They can also make other words with these sound cards. When you're ready, you can move on to the final step, which is the sound wall. We use this wall to have a quick review of the sounds. You can start with the new sounds, I, B, K, and a quick review of past sounds, A, M, S, D, A, I hope these ideas are practical help in beginning to teach reading in your ESL classroom. See you in the next lesson.